Hi, I'm Shabana Williams, President and Editor of Hills and Helmets. Happy Holidays and welcome to Fair Play. At Fair Play, we are going to do restaurant reviews as well as cook and give you all great recipes for your own game watching parties. This evening it's New Year's Eve and I'm taking a break from getting dressed for our New Year's Eve party to show you all my famous guacamole recipe. This is the perfect time to test my recipe for game watching parties coming up because January is filled with football. We have bowl games tomorrow including the granddaddy of them all, the Rose Bowl, and then on Sunday the NFL playoffs start. To get things started, I have to introduce you all to a very special guest. Not only is she going to help me make guacamole, she's going to teach us a little Spanish too. Hola, mi nombre es Shalon y yo estoy muy feliz para hacer un Hills and Helmets y para ayudar a hacer guacamole. Hi, my name is Shalon and I'm very excited to help, to help make guacamole. Well, thank you for joining us, Shalon. I'm very excited as well. So the first thing we want to do is count the most important ingredients for guacamole. There are one, avocados, two, our peppers, three, red onions, four, tomatoes, and five, cilantro. These are the most important ingredients for guacamole. Can you please count them for us in Spanish? Mm -hmm. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. Thank you. So the first thing we do is take out our avocado. You're going to use your knife and then split it. You have to make sure that the avocados are nice and ripe. You can tell because you can push them. If you can't easily push them and take them apart after slicing, they are not ready. These avocados are nice and ready. Now this is something that children can help with. When you have your guacamole, you start with the avocados, and now that they're cut, you can just spoon them into the bowl. Can you please spoon them into the bowl, Shalon? While Shalon is doing that, I'm going to start with some of our peppers. We use three different peppers. It gives the guacamole a very nice taste, as well as some exciting and vibrant colors. So we'll start with the green pepper. And you just need about half of each pepper. Our yellow pepper. An orange pepper. Now let's check to see how the avocado is coming. How are you doing, Shalon? Great. Great. So we'll scoop the rest of this avocado out. Put the peel to the side. And then we'll do that for the other half of the guacamole. Once you have peeled both of your avocados, you will just set them to the side and pour about a quarter of a cup lime juice. I pour it all over the avocado and then we put them in the refrigerator to chill for a little bit. Now that looks perfect. We have pulled out all of the avocado and it is now marinating in lime juice. Again, two avocados and a quarter cup of lime juice. Will you please put that in the refrigerator? Thank you. While our avocados are marinating in lime juice, we're going to move ahead and cut the rest of our vegetables. Shalon, let's teach everyone how to say the color of the peppers in Spanish. We have our green pepper, the orange pepper, and the yellow pepper. The last of our peppers. Doesn't that look great? I had some red peppers left over from another recipe, so I added those in as well. Now we're going to move on to our tomato. 
I usually use Roma tomatoes, but because I'm in Michigan, I wanted to use something local. So this is something from a Michigan farm. We'll just start right here. Okay, the tomatoes are done. They smell really delicious. Oops, did you drop one? Okay, put that over there. And now for our red onion. And we're just gonna chop up half of a small red onion. Great, survived onions. So let's put those away. So we can get to my favorite part of making guacamole. So you don't need the whole onion, just about a half a cup there. Now my favorite part to guacamole is preparing the cilantro. This is so delicious and it makes the house just smell wonderful, even as you're just cutting it up. So we'll take off the long stems, put those to the side, and then just, you know, chop and cut them nicely so they're fine in your guacamole. Wonderful. Doesn't it smell great? Yes. But where did the cilantro go? Oh, we're going to put this in this little cup. Mm -hmm. This is about a quarter of a cup, so we'll put the cilantro right in there. Now the fun part, and this is the part where kids can actively participate. Shalon, will you please go get our avocado? They've been marinating in lime juice. While she's doing that, I'm actually going to chop up a little jalapeno. We will pull out a little bit of our finished guacamole to make a special spicy one. So just a little. Great. Oh, it looks wonderful. It's just about guacamole, but the avocado and lime juice smells delightful. Okay. Now that we have all of our ingredients, it's time to mix, baby. So let's take this big bowl here. Yes. So I'll hold the bowl and we'll pour in first our avocado. Yes. The tomatoes. We have our peppers, and let's review the different colors in our peppers. We had green, which is yellow, amarillo, orange, aranjado, and we added some small red peppers. Okay. Next, our red onions. Mmm. And then our wonderful cilantro. Looks great. Now, Shalon, will you please help me just stir it up? So we are just about done. Oh, it does look great, Shalon. Thank you so much. See the different colors? And I can tell you, it smells nice. You can smell the cilantro and mm. lime juice, the avocados, and all of the peppers. Yes. I'm going to grab a bowl so we can put a little aside to make our spicy burger. Okay. So let's just take a little out. For our friends who can handle a little spice, we'll add these fresh jalapenos. And now we'll stir that and just fold it and mix it all in together. Again, you want to make sure that it's mixed well, but it's not just mush. Okay, just about finished. The last thing we're going to do is just top off each version with a dash of salt. Not too much, just a dash. So I'll pour just a dash in your hand. We'll sprinkle it a little around. Great. And just a dash in my hand, just to sprinkle it around. I'll do it over here. Let's brush our hands off. Let's see. I think it's 
time for us to taste test this now. So let's get a little bit. What do you think? I think it's good. Okay, my turn. Mmm, perfect. It is delicious. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for helping me today. Mm -hmm. No problem. He did not. Well, for everyone watching, let's review the phrases that we learned today and teach them how to say Happy New Year in Spanish. So our first phrase was, I'm excited to be here. The next phrase is, this tastes very good. And now, so you'll be able to wish everyone well tomorrow, this is how you say Happy New Year. You know, we have worked really hard today, Shalon, so I think we deserve to have a little bit of a toast. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for joining Hills and Helmets on our first edition of Fair Play. We hope that you've had a wonderful holiday, and we wish you a very happy new year. Feliz Año Nuevo! Feliz Año Nuevo!